This is Machete Panda here, and I am here to discuss blogs on the WD website. Um, please excuse the static in the background of uh, the microphone. I'm using Camtasia. They deserve full credit for that, because um, for some reason they suck. I don't know why it's doing that. It doesn't do that in any other applications. But um, I'm going to use them for now, because it's installed. And um, if you go to the WD website, there's a blogs feature, and I don't think people realize how much you can customize the blogs. Uh, if I go to this blogs feature right now, and I go to, you'll see all the blogs. If I go to blogs, there's my blog, and this is a sample blog. No, that's not me. Um, I've added some links here on the side. I've got some content in here. Um, I've got it laid out with a top, a uh, footer, uh, things like that. <coughs> so, um, how did I do this? Well, in our vBulletin site, we are able to use divs. Uh, HTML divs are, are basically uh, uh, containers, like uh, you see here, container for the title, container for the links, container for the body, and container for the footer. Um, if I go to the blog settings, you can see how this code is written. Um, when it comes out like this, it doesn't look too great. Um, if I go to the commands only, uh, or the uh, coding only, button, you'll see uh, how it's coded. So um, here's a div right here. There's a div for the overall container, the entire uh, profile, and there's a div for the title, there's a div for links, there's a div for the con uh, content, and I just wanted to say that divs work a lot like HTML. So if I go to the, uh, this is the W3 Schools uh, uh, example page, and I actually use the div tools in here. Let me just refresh this because I just realized it's still got some of the old stuff I changed in here to create that. So um, what matters is this code that I've highlighted. The HTML body doesn't matter. Uh, the close of the body doesn't matter because we already have that being that we're already on a website. The divs is what matters. Um, and vBulletin uses brackets. So we want to open and close our div with brackets. We're not going to use any of that information. You just go straight into equals and then your commands. And that's what it's going to look like. So um, if you were to add background color to this, it would look something like that. All right. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to go through here and I'm going to change all this code over to open brackets. We don't use any uh, uh, header titles. Uh, it's a, uses a different command. Here's a close. Bra here's a here's a close of a div. Uh, open a div. Remove all this. So you, I think you're getting the picture here. So really, what matters is this portion of the uh, the tool. Um, with all that stuff uh, works normally, and I could go through and I could change this all for you. But um, as I said, uh, only this much of the code for this example works. I took that code, I copied it over, and then I added my content the way I wanted to see it. So um, <clears throat> a lot of this code, you'll see I, I changed the header color for the header, um, changed my title, uh, and you'll notice that these are typical. Uh, this stuff right here is all typical um, vBulletin uh, commands. So uh, bold the uh, header text, centered it. Um, then there's another container for the links. Then next to the links, we have the uh, uh, content. Um, you have to, and actually on the content, you have to div around this image, make a div for this image to get your text to fall next to it. And that's uh, using the float. Uh, command inside of the div, so we're going to float the image left, and then uh, add the image. This is regular uh, vBulletin code, and uh, then our content, so on and so forth. Um, I had to play around with some of the height settings and things like that to make it look just right, because it wouldn't all fit in there because the image was bigger than the example and stuff like that. But um, you get the point. Uh, then uh, when I finished it, and this is what it came out like. Um, so I've got a nice, uh, neat looking blog here. Um, so using divs is a great way to control how your blog is laid out. Um, you can add backgrounds to the divs. You can add 
uh, borders to the div so you can get some really cool corners and things like that and rounded corner stuff so um yeah uh if you have any questions feel free to ask uh, i'm going to post this code when i post the uh video and uh enjoy your time on world dominance gaming uh, wdgaming.net thank you